you know, when I was sitting around thinking about what I was going to do for this video here about me selling the teardrop, I originally thought I was going to go super climatic on it and I was going to talk very sappy about how it allowed me to quit my job and chase a dream and travel around the country for a year and meet so many amazing people on the road and how it gave me this Escaping Normal Life platform and talked to so many other viewers and yada, 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 yada. But in the end, I really just decided to go very candid and sit here and talk a little bit about why I sold the teardrop and what it meant for me and what am I thinking about traveling in next. Uh, for starters, I did sell the teardrop. It's gone. I no longer have it. I sold it about two weeks ago. Uh, I'm about 30 minutes away from meeting the new buyer from my little teardrop trailer here. You know, it's kind of bittersweet to let go of it. It has served me well for the past year. It took me all over the country and allowed me to see some amazing places, but it's just time to move on. It's time for me to upgrade. It's time for me to get into something more accommodating so that I can keep on traveling and keep on escaping normal life. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks to say goodbye to this thing. I love this little teardrop. It has served me super well. I'm happy to move on, but I'm also sad to move on. You know what I mean? There it goes, a little home. Sold it to my new, to its new owner. Ah, uh, there he goes. Yeah, why? So, so many people have asked why. Why get rid of the teardrop? Um, I know the teardrop is a lot of reasons of why people come to my channel and why people have started to follow me. And I've gotten so much feedback on the teardrops themselves. First off, any video I post about the teardrop always gets more views than anything else I've noticed, which is great. It's, it's kind of the star of the show. I get it. Originally, I always thought I was going to travel for one year and now I kind of get that out of my system and then I would come back to a city and live a quote unquote normal life. I always thought I would do that. But as I've mentioned several times before, I was on the road for maybe three months and I discovered how much I truly love traveling and how I just couldn't see myself actually living in a normal city right now. It's just not the thing for me at this moment in my life. But I also knew that the teardrop was not going to allow me to live on the road full time for many years. It's a great setup. Don't get me wrong. I love the teardrop. Anybody who is interested in one, I think you should still look into it. But it's really good for the weekend a camping trip or taking it out for a week or two to maybe a national park or something. And that's it. Um, the rest of the time, it's really meant to stay in your garage or in your driveway or something until you're ready to take it out. Full-time living in such a small area is very challenging. It um, was not something I could stand up in. So um, putting on pants, as I always joked about, was super uh, cumbersome, <laughs> very challenging. And I think the biggest thing was really just when the weather was bad, I had to be outside to cook. So if the weather was bad, that didn't work. Um, I had to wait out the weather if like it was just raining or something, or if it was just super, super cold or snowing or something, or, or the rain was just not going to let it for many hours. Uh, then I had to go to a restaurant or something and um, it just added to my expense and I wasn't working last year. So it just, it wasn't the thing for me full time. It was a great avenue for me to get a taste of the road life um but in the end it just isn't something i want to do uh, i just not it's just not something i want to live in full time so when i came back to florida i had already started talking about selling the chair job i knew that's something i wanted to do but i gotta tell you uh i've been back in uh florida for about four months now almost four months of the day actually and i held on to that tear job for three and a half months <laughs> i didn't want to let it go and I think it was because I knew that once I let that teardrop go, um, that that was it. I w it was just me and my car. Uh, luckily enough, I you know was able to stay with my brother for a little while. Now I'm currently staying with a friend. I've already reached out to my parents and said, hey, if, if, if I need to, can I stay with you guys for a little bit? And so everybody's very, very welcoming, allowed me to stay with them and everything. But I, I've mentioned this before, how I just feel like I'm intruding on everybody's life. And so... It's, it's, when I got rid of the teardrop, I knew, I was like, man, that's it. Uh, I, 
it's it's just me and my car and while i could sleep in my car and i could stay there and and just shower and gyms and things like that basically how i was living on the road just minus a teardrop but in a city it's it's totally different because right now i'm in a big city i'm not in nature it's it's a totally different beast um when you're living in your car in a city uh more people have eyes on you and more people see you and more people are like why is that guy staying in his car camped out over there in that parking lot for a couple of weeks at a time it's just i didn't want to draw that kind of attention to myself at least with the teardrop while it definitely has just as many eyes people see the teardrop at least it gave me kind of a refuge you know it kind of gave me a home it kind of gave me a sanctuary to like crawl into but i guess what i'm trying to say is hanging onto the teardrop that long really just kind of gave me solitude and knowing that I have something to fall back on. If I had to get back on the road tomorrow, I could do it. Right now, just me and my car, it, it could definitely be done, but it just wouldn't be as easy. First off, my car is full of stuff, um, so I don't even know how I'd arrange a sleeping arrangement in there. Uh, I would have to probably get some sort of small trailer just to pull things behind it. I don't know. So that was kind of my thought process around selling it. Now that it's gone, I've oddly not found myself missing it, which is good, I think. It allows me to think forward and know that I am actually uh, really looking forward to the future and what I'm going to end up doing for my travel needs in the future. But I do find myself going through pictures and looking at uh, pictures of the teardrop and seeing it in the places I traveled to last year and being like, oh, you know, it was such a good time. But I think just like any other place in your life, looking back on, on those memories is great that those were good times at that moment in your life. And right now you might be in a totally different place around different things. And um, that's just where you're at right now. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm ready to move on and ready to take the step forward to getting a better travel arrangement for myself so that I can do long, long term travel because I'm talking about traveling and living on the road for a couple of years. I think that's just where I really want to be. Um, every time I think about an apartment or anything, I'm just like, that's just, that's just not for me right now. Well, this is it. This is one of the last times I'm going to be sitting in this trailer. Yeah. A lot of things going through my mind right now about getting rid of this whole thing. It's going to be good in the long run, but yeah, I mean, it definitely served me well, this little thing. Um, the teardrop was definitely a venture in its own. Uh, let alone traveling the country for a year that is its own adventure and then doing it in a teardrop is definitely something else <laughs> entirely you know the cold nights the rainy days the windy conditions that had to be in uh, when you're having to cook outside when you're having to spend pretty much all your time outside not always the easiest but I definitely made it happen it's uh, a little weird to see this thing vacant nothing in it no clothes no sleeping bag no sleeping pad uh, nothing of mine in it. It's completely bare, ready to sell on to the next uh, buyer. And yeah, definitely makes me think about all the times I had in it, you know, taking this everywhere I went, the desert, the mountains, the beach, uh, cold, warmth, <laughs> all over the country, up north, down south, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I don't know really what else I can say about it. it. It is what it is. It's like moving from any place that you've spent um, some time in. If it's just an apartment or a house, you certainly have memories there. So it's definitely been something, it's definitely been a different adventure, to say the least. So of course, the big question everybody's asking me is what are you going to travel in next? Are you going to do a van? Are you going to do a big fifth wheel? Um, what is it you're going to get? And I hate to do it to you, but I think I'm going to make another video all about that. You're just going to have to sit back and wait. Sorry. Thanks for escaping normal life with me.